If you want to see Emily, today's video is going to be my favorite favorites. I have been accumulating makeup, skincare, hair care, and plus other stuff, favorites that I wanted to share with you. I feel like I haven't done a monthly favorite in forever, so I have lots to talk about. By the way, I'm testing this setup. Let me know how you feel about it. I can't always use this because I'm using natural lighting, and I feel like the windows might be washing me out a little bit, but whenever I can, I might try to use natural lighting because I do think it looks great, but right now in the viewfinder, I look like really, really washed out. So I'll do a close-up for the product so you can see the colors properly. Let's start with makeup. I have been loving the new Maybelline foundation. This is the Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation, and I did do a video comparing it to the Fit Me foundation, so I will be linking that if you want to see them in action throughout the day. But this has been a lifesaver. I feel like it just gives me everything that I need. It gives me coverage because I do need it. But it also doesn't emphasize any dry patches that I may have because of winter, but it also helps control the oil because my skin is on the combination side. And this has been so great to use on a daily basis. And I'm cheating. You're seeing a little bit of events what's gonna be coming, but I have been loving using it with this brush. This is the Wet n Wild P55 brush. And I am a sponge girl. I use sponges all the time. Like 99% of the time, if you see me applying foundation, I'm using a beauty blender or a dupe or whatever, but I've been loving these two together. I feel like this brush makes it so even and easy to apply and it's been a dream to use. So if you are on the market for a new foundation, I definitely recommend checking out this one, especially if you like the Fit Me foundation, but you felt like you needed a bit more coverage or maybe something that lasts better throughout the day if you have uh, oilier skin or if you have dry patches. Definitely recommend this. I do, however, have to mention that it does oxidize. So go like a shade or two lighter because this is my, this is probably gonna be my summer shade. It's a bit too dark for me right now, but you know, it's a time of the year where you wear sweaters and you just blend things down your neck and everything looks fine. So <laughs> I've been really loving using these two together and yeah, great foundation and new favorites for sure. You know what, since I already started, let me continue with the Wet n Wild uh, brushes. And I have my five favorites that I wanted to mention because I have been receiving questions about which ones I think are worth the money. So I do like the P55 that I just mentioned to apply my foundation. The shape is kind of weird. It's kind of like almost a little bit of a hole in the middle, which I thought would be like a waste of product, like things would get stuck in there. And obviously there is a bit of foundation that gets stuck in the brush, but this has been so soft and so like dreamy and even on my face. And again, I don't even like to use brushes for applying my foundation, but I have been loving this one. The next one is like a multitask. You can use it for multiple things, but I've been liking the P65 has my highlighter brush, which clearly it looks kind of dirty. They're all dirty, but I've been using them. <laughs> so I have been really enjoying that one. You can also use it to just set your under eye concealer. You could use it to contour. You can use it for a lot of different things, so definitely useful. Another one that is like you can use for multiple things is the P70, which I've been loving it for my blush, which I've been having issues finding the perfect blush brush. I feel like I go back and forth between using the ones that are in angles and then I've been liking this one because I feel like it makes it super even. Again, whenever I blend it out, it looks perfect, but you could also use it for your bronzer or whatever. And then for my eyes, I have been loving these two, which honestly, if you're someone that you don't want to spend a lot of money on brushes, you just want to have like one or two, this is pretty much all you need. The first one, is, which is like the essential one, P15, which is like the perfect crease brush. It's not too long, it's not too short, it's very soft. It has the perfect density, I feel like, to just make your job very, very easy. And if you want something to just blend out even more, I would go with the P20, which is just a little bit longer. Those are my favorite ones, at least currently, from their new range of brushes. I have been on the hunt for the perfect under eye concealer. I feel like we're all there, but it is so hard to find something that gives you some coverage, but also doesn't freaking dry out my under eyes because they're very dehydrated, it's the winter, it's horrible for your skin. My skin under my eyes is just literally dying, and it looks great before I apply makeup, but then afterwards it's like, nope, nope, take it off. And it's been really difficult to find a perfect one that gives me enough coverage, but also doesn't dry me out. And for example, if you think Maybelline Fit Me is really great if you have dehydrated skin, but it doesn't give me more than like light medium coverage, you know what I mean? And if you go to the extreme, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, which gives you great coverage, but I can't use this on a daily basis during the winter because my under eyes are like, kill me now, I can't take it. I have been trying to find something that would be in the middle and I think I found it. And it is the Catrice Cosmetic 
Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. I have the shade number 10, which is porcelain. And this is magic. This is literally pure magic under my eyes. It gives me medium coverage. I'm currently wearing it, actually. I don't know how it's going to look once again because I'm in front of the window, but this looks amazing. And it doesn't look dry under my eyes, which is, ugh, finally. <sighs> the thing is, I'm kind of torn because first off, there's actually, there's one little negative and one big one. The first negative is, there's perfume in it. Why? Like, why would you put perfume in a concealer? I was going to say, doesn't offend my eyes, but... Like, my eyes don't become, like, watery or they don't uh, become red or anything. So, personally, it's not an issue. I just literally have to put it under my nose to smell it. But I know some people might feel very differently about this. So, I just wanted to share it. But, oh, the big negative here, the range of color is literally shameful. Like, literally shameful. Like, shame on you, Katrina. I will be putting it on the screen. This is the selection at Ulta. There are three shades that are literally the exact same shade of beige and I just don't get it. It's 2018, like... So this is a selection that's available in North America. I have looked on their website, the European website, and there seem to be two more colors that are new that are a slightly darker shade of beige, but still. Um, if you are like me and you're able to actually find a shade that works for you, I'm currently, like I said, using the shade 10, which is the most like neutral color. There's one darker and one lighter that are both a little uh, warmer. Then I would definitely highly recommend it. It's amazing. Honestly, like what? I'm literally mad because this could be everyone's new favorite concealer. I, I genuinely believe that this could be like 90% of us new favorite concealer if we were all able to find a shade. So I really, 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 really hope Catrice brings out like 20 shades and they're like obviously not 20 shades of beige, but like 20 shades that could actually work for most people because this is so freaking good. But like, why? The formula is just exactly what I've been looking for for a daily basis. Medium coverage, it's waterproof. I don't even have to set it, which means my under eyes don't feel even drier because I have to apply powder, you know what I mean? It's... Ugh. Enough ranting. Uh, let's go with lipstick because lipstick will always bring back joy, right? I have been testing out some of the new Sephora lip stories, actually, hashtag lip stories. And I tested two different colors and my favorite one was in my uh, full face of testing new makeup products. If you haven't seen it, I'll definitely link that once again because I tested so many great products. Actually, a few of these are in that video. So obviously I, I tested some really great things and the makeup look turned out so good. I'm <laughs> so the lip product uh, that was in that range, this one, this is the color tan line and it's part of the cream colors. They have, I believe, four different finishes. There's metallic, cream, matte, and something else that I can't remember. And I tested the matte, which was okay. I think it was just like an average matte lipstick. I don't feel like it resisted that well whenever I was eating or anything. But the cream, I don't expect cream finishes in general to last me that long. I don't mind reapplying them because they're so comfortable on the lips and this color is amazing. When I first tried it on, I was like, oh, it's gonna be a bit too dark, maybe for summer, tan lines, you know, that works. But actually, even right now, it's a really great nude for me. I definitely recommend it. This could actually work on a lot of different skin tone. It's not too white base or anything, so it won't wash out anyone. And yeah, they have a few different colors. And let's be real, I mostly got them because of the packaging. I, I just can't deal. When I see cute packaging for lipstick, especially when they all have a different packaging, I just want to hoard them all, so I will probably go ahead and get some more colors. But I have to say, they're not like the most amazing formula of lipstick, but at the same time, I do think they're really good, and you can probably find a great color to test out in there. So definitely wanted to give a huge shout out to Tan Lines. You know what? Let's go next with my new babies, because I <laughs> resisted for so long to try these, because I was half scared I would not think they were worth the hype because they were getting a lot of hype, and halfway not wanting to try them because I was scared I was actually going to like them, and it turns out I actually like them, which, damn, it's gonna cost me a lot of money to get few shades because they're so good. Yep, yeah, they're 100% worth the hype. Those are the Stila Glitter and Glow eyeshadow. I want to try some of the other ones that aren't glitters to see if also those ones are worth the money. But the glitter ones, some of the shades I got are a little eh, uh, but these two, so the first one was actually in that uh, full face of makeup, trying new makeup products. This is the color Sunset Cove, and 
it turned out so good and I've been using it a lot and the other one that is a little bit more wearable too. It's kind of a gorgeous like pinky lilac mauve color with a little bit of like a blue reflective. It's just pure magic on your eyes and I was pairing it with like an orange peachy look and it looked so good. So like spring summer, love it. And then the other color I've been wearing a ton is definitely more wearable and this one is the color Wonderlust and it's kind of a bronzy color but at the same time it looks like there's some type of like pinky something else in there and it's just again pure magic on your eyes. I actually was wearing it in a recent video. I will try to link that if I can remember which one but I have been loving these. Actually I was wearing it in the video I was comparing the two Maybelline foundations. Ha! Remembered. <laughs> but yeah it was just they're both really good. They apply very nicely. You can just blend them, uh, apply directly and blend them with your finger and then they stay all day. I was scared these would like move around or like end up having glitter all over my face, but no, they're, they're so good. So yeah, I'm hoping that they're actually gonna come out with like a lot of sets during the Christmas time so I can like hoard all the colors because I want them all, but at the same time I can't like get all of them. But yeah, if you were uh, looking at them and wondering if they were worth the hype, they are. Last product was also in that video. I'm telling you, I tried so many really great products this month and they were like most of them in that video. So I finally decided to test some of the Maybelline highlighters, which it took me a long time because realistically, look at this, like even with this lighting, you can still see that this is like way too dark for me. Like this is like the rose gold one, molten rose gold. And it's obviously super dark. It looks like it's something that I'm gonna be able to use as a blush or as an eyeshadow. And matter of fact, it is actually a really great eyeshadow because this is so pigmented. It's just freaking ridiculous. You touch this and it's literally the same formula pretty much as the L'Oreal uh, Infallible Eyeliners. Not eyeliners. Eyeshadows that everyone used to rave about, not so much lately, but like so like creamy, almost like a pressed pigment. And I was really, really scared that this was going to be one of those that you have like a stripe of color on your face if you're fair. So I need to test the other colors that they have because I hadn't been trying even the gold one that they had because it was like, dude, this is like straight up yellow on my skin tone. But now I'm kind of curious, maybe during the summer. Because if this color works for me, the other one might as well. But yes, this is just so beautiful, so creamy. Again, you can use this eyeshadow as a highlighter and you're good to go. And once again, this color would work on so many different skin tone. And even when I swatch on my hand, I'm like, ooh, this is like quite dark, but I know that I can use it with a fan brush or even with my finger and it doesn't look that dark on me. Obviously, if you're really fair, you might want to apply it like the top portion of your blush type of thing, but so beautiful. So something, once again, worth the hype. I whoop, got a package. Totally got my package. We're good. Let's continue. So I think I was done with the Maybelline highlighter. Ooh, actually, let me go with hair care because we're in front of my window and I feel like my hair is like looking super shiny and like extra healthy. So I was getting questioned in my beginning of the year. I did two videos where I was actually sitting in front of windows and a lot of people were complimenting me on how shiny and healthy my hair looks, which thank you. I'm telling you, it's, it's the windows. I've been really loving these Marc Anthony Straightening Grow Long Shampoos and Conditioner. 2018, I was like, oh yeah, only you're gonna, you know, get healthy, eat healthy, exercise, learn to walk again and you know, you're gonna take your vitamins every day and I've been breaking out every day. My scalp has been going crazy. Everything has been going crazy and the real reason I have been having so many struggles is partially because of the weather but also because I was taking vitamins and my body was not interested in that. But I was also testing sulfate-free shampoo and conditioner. So I've been testing these two because of that and I have been loving them. Turns out, I don't think I have issues with sulfates, but my hair has been really loving it. It's so like healthy and everything. I also tried the um, coconut one and it's currently in my shower and I really like it too. I feel like it gives me some volume and it's like super lightweight and it does help with a greasy scalp, but it also doesn't weigh down. My hair is pretty long, like I need to probably cut it, but like it just gives me everything I've been loving. So. I've been wanting to give them a shout out. So if you were wondering what I'm currently using on my hair, it's the Marc Anthony products. Plus they're bright pink. So it's really fun in your shower. <laughs> oh, okay. I have been complaining <laughs> for years that I believe, I truly believe that skincare wise, finding the best eye cream is the hardest thing. People might not really agree. And I feel like a lot of people will tell you, oh, you can use your face cream, or your face moisturizer under your eyes and you're gonna be just fine. And 
For some people it might be right, like if you're just using a very lightweight normal moisturizer like thing, the uh, Forsy Beauty Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer, that could be a perfect eye cream if you don't really have any issues under your eyes. But personally, my face is combo and my under eyes is like dehydrated as hell, like so dehydrated and it hates everything. Like my eyes hate everything and I will either get milia or I will break out, like literally wake up with like a huge pimple around my eye, which is how the hell do you hide that? Or they don't do anything or they roll off my face whenever I try to apply makeup on top. So finding the perfect eye cream has been like my struggle. And I do like the uh, Origin Transcription eye cream, but it's also quite pricey. And I always want to try and find like dupes or cheaper alternatives because I know not everyone wants to spend like 50, 60 bucks on an eye cream, which is crazy. So I have found my new holy grail, which I wanted to like rave about it and include in this video, even though I've only been using it for two weeks, but like you all need to try this eye cream. This is the Mysan Multifunction Formula Snail Repair Eye Cream, and I'm in love. First off, it's under $20. Second of all, it's almost twice the amount as the average eye cream. I feel like actually the formula reminds me of the Origin one that I like so much. It's kind of in between a gel and a cream. It's super lightweight, and the second it touches your skin, it's like water. Sinks in right away, moisturize. My under eyes have never looked this plumped and like, any like expression lines, there's nothing. It's just looking so smooth. It's like pretty much like I applied primer under my eyes. So I have been like nonstop annoying everyone around me to like test it on them and like force them to get it because this is amazing. It will last me for absolutely ever. Actually, it expires in 2020, like December 2020. But like, I don't know if I can do this, probably. But like, there's so much product in there and it's so cheap. I think it's a Korean brand, but you can uh, find it in a few different places online. Personally, I got mine from uh, Yes Style, which I will link down below, but there's a few other places you can find this. And yeah, super affordable. I am just in love. Like clearly, I've been raving about a night cream for like two minutes, but. More skincare products I wanted to rave about. I finished my Clinique Take the Day Off uh, cleansing balm, and I've been using this for a while. I used like two different uh, jars of it, and I really like it. I feel like it's the most like basic one you can find. If someone is really intolerant to a lot of products or perfume or anything, definitely the one I would recommend like is as the first one you can try because that way it gives you an idea what you actually want after or if you just want to keep using it. And I always like to try new products. So I decided to try this one. This is the Amish All Clean Balm. And first off, the packaging, like you just want to take pictures of this. This needs to be on Pinterest, Instagram and everywhere. It's just so pretty super practical you get the little spoon and then underneath you get the product which you're probably not going to see anything because once again in front of a window and this is white you do not need to use a lot for it to work so it looks like i barely use this but i've been using this for a while and i really like it i feel like it's kind of thinner than the clinique one it really really melts kind of almost more oily but in a good way it removes all my makeup it doesn't irritate my eyes and the only thing i can think of that people might not like is the scent to me, which we've already established, I have the worst sense of smell ever. It kind of smells a little bit like plastic. I'm assuming it's supposed to smell like herbal or something, but it doesn't bother me. It doesn't stain my face whenever I rinse it off and I just use a washcloth. So I don't really mind it, but if you're super sensitive to smell, then definitely wouldn't be the one I would recommend. But personally, I've been really enjoying it. This one, I don't have a book to share. I always like to share my favorite books too. I have a book channel, Books with Emily Fox, which I will link if you are interested in more books because girl has a lot of books like but I feel like I haven't read a book that was like oh my god I need to read about it to everyone this month so as for TV shows I started watching This Is Us which I will put a picture I really didn't think I would like this show it's very like you're following a family like back and forth between when they were kids and then when they're the kids are now adults and this is breaking my heart. Like, yeah, I keep watching it and regretting that I'm watching it because it just breaks my heart. So that's literally all I'm gonna say because you just need to watch it an episode or two and you're gonna be able to decide if that's something you wanna watch. But please let me in the comment section your favorite TV show right now because I'm always looking for more. There's one more skincare product that I purposely kept for the end because I'm, I'm so torn because I really, really love this product. I think it's actually worth the money. But there's been so much drama that's like, I don't think it's worth it. And I personally don't think I want to support the brand anymore. Although I'm like, it's so good. Why are you doing this? 
I feel like a lot of people might know the brand uh, The Ordinary. They're like known for having really, really affordable skincare products. And there's also a few different brands and they're all under uh, Dissium. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a Canadian brand and they have a lot of really great uh, skincare products that are, they don't spend a lot of money on the advertising type of thing. It's the ingredients that are great. And I do like the idea of this. And there is another brand, not The Ordinary. The one is Neod and they have more pricey items, but so I'm going to start by talking about the product and then we can talk a little bit about the drama at the end because why not, right? I have been loving this product. This is a small size because I didn't want to commit to the full size because this is pretty expensive. I think it's like $30 for like 0.5 ounce. And this is the Multimolecular Hyaluronic Complex. And basically this is a great serum if you have dehydrated skin, which I have. I just really moisturizes my skin. It just like absorbs everything that I put on top. My skin looks plumped and just really, really happy. And I love it. I would have spent the money to get the big size and I would have totally done that because I'm like halfway through this and I've not been using this for that long, but I'm in love and I just want to like bathe in it. But if you want to hear all the drama, you can easily Google it. Like literally Google is your best friend here. But, um, Basically, the CEO is kind of going a little crazy, insulting people on social media and just firing everyone. And some people might not really care about whatever, but I think it's just whenever things are becoming so unstable, you start wondering if the products, the production is going to be stable. So I don't really want to spend the money for a product that might not be okay anymore. You know what I mean? So personally, I don't think I'm going to be repurchasing it, at least not right now until things calm down and everything, which is kind of why I wanted to still include it in the video. So if you have any like dupes or if you have tried this one and you know how good it is, and if you have anything similar to recommend, please let me know because I would love to continue using something that my skin loves this much, but yeah. So that's going to be it for my favorite favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comment section if you have tried any of these, what you think about them, or your current favorites, or anything you think I would love to try, or a TV show. <laughs> Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and to subscribe. I will be putting on the screen some of the videos that I've done that I recommend you check out, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.